Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're doing the best tweaks of the week. We do these every Sunday. However, today is Monday. I got a little late start. So we'll go ahead and do these back up. At, pretend it's Sunday, if you will. And we do these in collaboration with ModMy.com. So be sure and go over and check those guys out. The first one we're going to be looking at today is called Dath, D-A-T-H, Message. And what this does, guys is if we open up Dath message here and let's pull it up from inside Cydia and you will see what it is I'm referring to. It's $1.99 in Big Boss Repo and it allows you to change the way that your message looks, your bubbles, your text, all that colors can be changed. And actually, it adds its own icon directly on the springboard. So you could look at this as being its own app. So Dath Messages right here, bottom left. And you see when you open up here, you get several different options inside here. After it loads up, you're going to be uh, presenting with several things that you can change and customize. From the color of the text to the SMS bubbles, iMessage bubbles, iMessage text and link color. Uh, and you can see all of that is presented right there on the screen. And I'll open up my iMessage here and let you have a look at some of it. And as you can see here, are some of the changes that I have played around with. I've changed it from yellow, green, red. I've changed it to a much bigger, thicker font, which I do like uh, much better than the default, actually. So, if this is something you think that you would enjoy having on your device, check it out. It's $1.99 and Big Boss. The next one is called Photo Timestamp. And personally, why Apple hasn't already had this, I really can't tell you. But if we go into our Photos app now, you're going to see that every photo I have now has a timestamp on it. And if you see here, on the Barnes and Noble uh, shop that I took standing in their parking lot. As you can see, here's the green timestamp and I can put it wherever I want it with my, with my finger just by swiping up and down. Um, if I wanted to change the color, I could do that simply by going into the settings and going into the timestamp here and going on background color you see is green. If I wanted to change that to blue, hit done. Now when we come back out and go to our photos, you see that the timestamp background is blue. And you can change the font color and all that sort of jazz. But if you come in here, you see you got text color. You can change it from white to any color you want. Uh, let's see what it looks like in black. All right, so now we go back out, open it up, and that's what it looks like in black. So pretty cool overall way to add a timestamp. That way you know when you take each photo and you don't have to try to remember that or uh, categorize them into days and months or whatever in your font or apps or photo app. That way you can just keep up with them, you know, naturally that way. Next up is called Keyboard Axio. I don't know how really you would pronounce that. A-C-C-I-O. And let's go in here and let me let you see what it looks like. Keyboard right here. Keyboard ACO. Um, what this does is it changes that little, um, if you open up your text here. And down here at the bottom you see you got some different things you can change. You have usually you have the little globe, okay. Now you got uh, the English option and the emoji option, so that's where that change comes into play. So the keyboard ACO, XEO, however you want to pronounce it, um, it actually allows you to change up all the uh, settings from inside there. So if you go in here and, and you want to change something right here. Uh, let's go to this and you'll see that now if I wanted to turn that predictive on it's going to come on but turn it on emoji and there's the little globe that it's referring to 
and what it's supposed to do here guys it says um, it makes the global key always switch between the first and the second input of your keyboard settings to access other input modes you should hold the global key and choose the input mode in the pop-up list. It supports third-party keyboards on iOS 8, and it says there's no options to configure and no settings or anything like that for that item. So keep that in mind. Uh, next up is called... Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to be looking at is free as well in Big Boss, and it's called More Than SMS. And this is a pretty amazing little tweak itself. So what this does is it adds a way for you to actually make phone calls inside of your text messages. So I shouldn't say it like that, inside the message app, I guess you could say. So if you go into your message app here, you see up at the top now, I have the little phone in the center between the edit and the compose button. If I tap that little phone, I get a pop-up here. It says to type a number. And if I were to enter a number here and hit call, it would actually make up that phone call. So you don't have to go to a different part of the screen, like your phone app, to make the call. You can actually make it from right inside of your message app. Pretty awesome little deal there, don't you think? And last but definitely not least is one called Disable App Switcher Rotation. And this is available in Big Boss Free also. And let me show you what this one is all about. So if we go into here and go to Disable. App Switcher Rotation. So what this boils down to, guys, is for any of you that are using a tweak or something that makes your uh, device rotate uh, from landscape to horizontal, if you are tired of it rotating when you are in the actual app switcher mode, mode it actually prevents that from happening by installing this tweak called Disable App Switcher Rotation. So that's the five for the week, guys. Hope you enjoyed them. As always, don't forget to go over and check Mod My Eye out. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Share these with all your friends and social media, and keep coming back.